the government of Kenya, right? And so this is my, this is what I'm telling you. I made three commitments that I will make sure the police in, is independent. And I did that on my first day in office. Number two, I said there will be no extrajudicial killing in Kenya. I have kept my, my, my promise. Number three, I have told you that if there is any arrest by the police, that does not amount to an abduction. In my very honest opinion. Uh, let's pause for a moment, uh, Mr. President. And I just want us to go to that video over there, which will play on there. And uh, let's post and watch it together, Your Excellency. Let's watch this video. Send them to the people of Kenya. There are enough intelligent people in Kenya to differentiate what is good from what is better and what is best. Some and while they are but these people don't understand the damage they are doing to the people and the economy of Kenya. All right. All right. Yeah, yes, the, the video in uh, contention here is was recorded earlier today. Yes. That of former MP Alfred Keter being abducted in broad daylight. Mr. President, before you even talk about the entire incident, the children were screaming and the sound that we believe belongs to the wife was also heard, screaming in distress. How does that make you feel? Three things. I have told you, I made a deliberate decision to make sure that the police operate independently. That's number one. Number two, I have told you, if the police summon Linus Kaikai Kai, and Linus Kaikai Kai refuses to go to the police, are the police not entitled to come and look for you? When the police come to arrest you after they have summoned you and you didn't show up, is that an abduction? So let's have this as a confirmation. That no, I'm just MP, you. Let's have this as a confirmation, Your Excellency, that Alfred Keter was summoned by police. He refused to uh, the police respond have to issued the police. Police a statement. I, I would suggest, instead of uh, us having a back and forth, the police have released a statement. Can you check what the police the police have released the statement? And you still ans not answered my question. Which the wife and children screaming that way. I mean, how do you feel, Your, Your Excellency? I mean, my friend, every child every mother feels the same when their parent is under attack i mean that is it that is what it is but let me ask you what about the children what about the children of those who have lost their lives because of the criminality of others. Don't they feel the same? So we, we just need to be a country of the rule of law. Impunity cuts both ways. Those who respect the law must be protected by the law. Those who do not respect the law must face the full force of the law. That, that's, how it, that's how we will have a society. Here's the impression. same way yeah. we must condemn excessive use of police powers, it, but we must equally deal firmly and decisively with criminals who put the lives of other Kenyans in danger, destroy property of hard earned earnings. There are many people, liners, in this, in this demonstration that have lost livelihoods, that today their children are crying. Today, their wives are in tears because they don't know how to face tomorrow. Mr. President, their you... businesses have been wiped out. Yeah. Their incomes have been destroyed. But I have just told you 2.4 billion shillings worth I, of I business you, has been destroyed. I hear you, and Mr. today, as I talk to you this evening, there are families who have tears. There are families 
who do not know how to face tomorrow. And, and, and I've asked you very specifically, President, how do you feel about those tears, especially I mean, it, those it, who have been it, killed it's horrible. by police bullets? It is horrible. It is horrible. When you find a situation where people are grieving, whether they are grieving because their parents have been arrested, or they are grieving because their hard-earned earnings of many years, money is there, I have, I have on my phone. People who are saying, I borrowed money. My whole loan has been wiped out. My whole barbershop has been destroyed. My whole hardware has been looted and burnt. And they are in tears. So I must equally work with the police to protect all these citizens. You and, it, it, and it cuts both ways, uh, Linus. It you, cuts both ways. Using the rule of law. Absolutely. Let me take you to just step back. Absolutely. Step the rule, of, the law. rule of law says mm. the rule of law requires the police to investigate a matter to when they have sufficient evidence present that to the ODPP, the director of public prosecutions takes people who are culpable to court. That's the journey in the rule of law, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. In the case of 39 people who have been abducted, and the abduction here, we're using it deliberately because of the manner in which the people have been arrested, like we've seen in the case of Alfred Keter, others who've been picked up from their houses in the middle of the night, and they are held incommunicado for more than 24 hours outside of what the, the rule of law says. And then they are not taken to court, so they are not charged with anything. That is outside of the rule of law. So in one instance here we are saying we are not following the rule of law. In the second instance, Mr. President, you have people